Hello everyone, welcome to my 7th How To 100 Gender Tutorials. A while back I was working on creating a headset and also earphones. And I discovered when it came to trying to create the wires that are connected to the headset, I found it a little more difficult than what I would have expected. I just thought you simply create a circle and extrude it. But it became very difficult to manipulate the shape of the wires because the wires tend to bend and twist and go in all different directions. So in this tutorial I'll just demonstrate quickly how you can create a wire and give you that flexibility to change the direction and twist it very easily and quickly. So we'll just come out of the default Blender cube and what we're going to do first of all is go to add, go to the curves and select circle. All these curves are Bezier curves and that's what we're looking for. So we select circle and it's a way up the top there so let me just do that again. I just click down here somewhere. Add, curve, circle. So we've got our circle here. We then want to create another curve so we go to add, curve and this time Bezier. So what we're going to do here is we've effectively got the Bezier one, which is highlighted, which is going to represent the length of the cable. And we've got the circle here, which is highlighted, and that's going to represent basically the diameter of the cable. So we're going to get the diameter of this circle to follow the path of this curve. So to do this, if you want the circle to follow the path, select the path, highlight it by right hand clicking onto it, move over to the right hand side of the tab here where it says object data, click into that, and here where it says bevel object, click on there and select the Bezier circle. That Bezier circle there represents this circle here. So once again, select the curve, go to object data, click on beveled object and select Bezier circle. What's happened here is the circle is now, this circle here is now following the path. And you will see that if I press, if I highlight the circle, press S for scale and scale it down, you'll see on the right hand side the diameter of the cable scales down as well. If I want to change, say, the shape of this cable rather than it being a perfect circumference or a perfect circle, you can again right hand click on the circle, go into edit mode, and if I pick one of those vertices points and I say move that downward, you can see the same happens on your actual 3D object. And maybe I want to move that upward. Sometimes you have cables that are two cables in one and they're sort of shaped like this. But of course you just manipulate your 2D circle a little more until you get the sort of shape that you're looking for. So that's basically how you control the shape or the circumference of the cable. So you can come back out of edit mode, go into object mode. You can then right hand click on the cable itself and go into edit mode. And you can manipulate the length of the cable. So you can make it longer here, longer there. If I highlight the vertices here, I can press E for extrude and make that cable even longer. Changes direction. You can also control these, this vertice, this, this point here, this vertices point here that I've just highlighted, right here. You can control its shape by using these, I don't know what you call them, I just imagine them as handles, I forgot the name of them. And you can just keep on controlling the shape of the cable until you get a sort of organic, natural looking flow of a cable. 
and you're not only restricted to go in the X and Y direction, you're also able to go along the Z direction as well. And this sort of gives you a very flexible way of manipulating the object to make it look like a key. And of course you can go back into the circle here and you can just adapt the cable to be more spherical if that's what you want. Here you can see the cable looks a bit it's, it's too close to each other so it doesn't look very natural. So highlight the object, go into edit mode and you can just give it a little bit more of a natural look and you can just keep on playing and playing and playing until you get exactly what you want so I hope this has come in handy, it's a very flexible method for controlling uh, well, controlling cables or wires but it's not just that, you could use this system or this method for creating anything that's got a shape like a tube, an exhaust pipe for example, or piping for a water pipe or whatever it is you want to use it. And of course when you finish that you can go into the materials editor and add your materials like you normally would with any other 3D object on Blender. So we we'll look forward to the next tutorial and good luck. Bye bye.